Hey guys, Gus here, your African plant hunter, and I'm here today to share with you a little fact. Oh, that's Kasuku, by the way. She's my parrot. She's an African grey parrot, those of you who know. Yeah, she's making lots of noise. She makes these like bomb noises. Ooh, no idea where she gets it from. Anyway, so Gus and Kasuku are here today to tell you, there she goes, are here today to tell you about the African star chestnut, which is Stoculia africana. This, I hope, is a tree that uh, you might find really interesting. I know I do. All right, let's go. Remind you of anything? Yeah, absolutely. It's the African star chestnut, obviously, huh? These are the pods. Relative of the cacao tree, cocoa, also relative of the baobab tree, and full of seeds, not now, but they were. Seeds produce a beautiful, beautiful, rich, lovely oil at a certain time of year. Then they get very dry like now. But this tree is really remarkable and is very distinctive in the landscape, both because of these pods that obviously hang up like that and split open in a process I've told you about before called explosive dehiscence. Um, they also really remarkable for the, the, the way that they stand out. You can see them from miles and miles and miles away. You know what, in Malawi, they, uh, they use the fiber of this to cure madness. And the way they do it, I don't know how it works, they tie you up using fiber from the bark of the Stoculia tree, and then afterwards they make you eat the bark, and apparently that will cure your madness. Don't know how that works, but hey. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching that. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you do, that's Kasuka the Parrot, she did. If you do, please like, um, subscribe, uh, share it, um, get it out there, do whatever you gotta do with it. Um, and let's let's make this thing big, huh? Um, thanks guys, I'm on my way. I will check you later.